So now in the last episode, we have installed the JWT, that means the JSON web token via this composer.json file. We have put this thing, then we have ran the composer update to have this uh, time on JWT auth on our backend project, that means the Laravel project, but we have not configured it. So let's now go to Chrome once more and here on this uh, JWT GitHub repository, we have two kind of uh, documentation but the new one is here yeah it is unfinished but it doesn't matter so let's go here and we have not used this one because if you are using composer required time on jwt you will get the older version which is uh, i think uh, 0.5 and 0.5 version will not work with Laravel 5.6 so you have to make sure you must have 1.0.0 rc2 okay so after this we have to import this but we are not on level 5.4 or below because now with the level 5.5 we have auto discovery which just discovered the package whatever we have installed then we have to publish these configuration of this jwt so let's go here and you can see i'm on front end i want to have a back end terminal so if i close every terminal and let me show you how you can open again right click here and open terminal so this time the terminal is with backend and this is not the hard and fast rule to have both these project in the same editor and you can use two editor or two different e editor one like uh, one for uh, php storm for laravel and vs code for angular and similarly you can host these two on different repositories i have done these two on a single repository so that you don't have to uh, go here and there just for uh, checking where is the front end where is the back end just for sake of simplicity but uh, in a real project you have to put both of these front end and back end in a different github repository so make sure if you are doing a real project do that kind of things so we have to hit this one so that we can have the configuration of jwt.php file in our config folder so go to this config folder and yes we have this jwt.php file which is for jwt auth so after this we have to run this so that we can have a secret so if i open .env file at the last you can see we don't have any kind of secret but if I open terminal, clear this out just by pressing command K and paste it and hit enter. And yes, this time if I see this, uh, okay, this is .env.example actually we have to open .env only. So just at the bottom JWT secret is this which is just created here. Okay, so this is done. Let's close this, close this, close this. And the next part is, okay, Lumen, no quick start so go to quick start here and here we have to configure our user model for jwt so we have to say implement jwt so let's go here open user.php on the back end remember this has to be on the back end i think obviously .php file has to be on the back end ah, dumb thing okay so here implement uh, implements jwt subject so it's not giving any kind of suggestions i don't know why so maybe let's paste it jwt subject is here so next part is we have to have these two functions here so these two functions just after here these two functions are here and then we have to make sure the guard setting so this time again go to let's close front end part go to config auth.php inside this the guard the default guard has to be api and on the api guard the driver it's not token it's just jwt and it is done so next part is routing so let's grab all the routes from here and obviously we will change some of these or many of these route we don't need all of these we will change something but let's let's keep it here and we will see later so i don't want any request here and it is done now right, let's go create a controller so create a controller open terminal clear it out yes i'm on backend 
then paste it controller is created auth controller go to here and here inside this let's copy everything paste it so this auth controller has many things like firstly it has constructor and in the constructor just define the middleware so that anyone cannot access this uh, uh, functions without having the proper valid JWT but we have to accept for login because uh, login when when the user logs in it doesn't have any token it is logging in to have the token so we, do, we have to exclude this from our middleware but what this login will do login will take the email and password whatever the user will give then it if it is there that means the user having these credentials found on the database then it will create a token otherwise it will return unauthenticated but to create a token here we just have to return response token firstly then token type which is bearer and the expiring time along with this what I want I want just the user so here auth user because whenever we are uh, logging in the person we just want the details of the user or maybe if you want you can just say user name also so we we have given the username along with the token and token details so this is good and let's see some of others uh, yeah me is just going to return the logged in user information so we can just return this function here also but it's good to have this and it doesn't matter okay then we have the logout so if person log out we need to call this logout function so that it will invalidate the token the user just has and then we have the refresh refresh comes like if you want to refresh the token just by giving the token the valid token you will get another token so the token previously you have given will invalidate and a new token is generated so it's like refreshing the token and then we have this one so i have explained every uh, functions in this auth controller so this gwt is now configured and having almost everything yes we have some kind of uh, um, uh, methods here and error handlings we have and we will see these things later but uh, it's not that important because this series is just for having the combination of angular and laravel so i also have a video on jwt itself and how handling the error on jwt you can refer to that video we are not going to do that here in this episode so i think this is done so finally let's just hit everything to github so git and add uh, all then git commit hyphen m with uh, jwt uh, configs okay then git push and now let's see everything will be on the github yeah this is good and if you have liked this episode please share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone know how to use laravel and angular together and don't forget to subscribe like bit films on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye